Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Once Upon a Crescent. This is season seven with your host and storyteller, Mrs. Hashmi. This podcast show is especially about kids like you. My dear Muslim kid listeners, you are incredibly special to me because if you think about it, I am a part of your imagination. While I'm telling the story, you are imagining it. Now that's really special. Let's get started. Mm, where's that imagination button that I have to push to start this episode? Oh, there it is. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Today's story is called The Back to School Blues. Zainab sat in the back seat, scanning the parking lot with Mama and Baba. She was searching for an open parking spot. The parking lot at this Target superstore was filled with cars. The rush at Target was the most that she's ever seen before. There were people bustling in and out of the store with bags upon bags of things. This was just a reflection of that time of the year again back to school shopping. This was a time where all families would flock to the stores to get prepared for the new school year. Mama and Baba had visited plenty of stores already for the exact list of things needed for Zainab in Amelia's new school year. They needed new backpacks and the stores that they already checked out had empty shelves in the back to school aisle. So, here they all were, trying to find the right supplies and items before school began. Zainab was not looking forward to this new school year. She wouldn't know a single person at this new school in this new state. Zainab and Amelia spent the summer moving from one state to another. They relocated from a northern state all the way down to the south. Life was different here, but alhamdulillah, slowly they were getting used to it as the days passed by. With each new week, things got easier with this new move. Baba finally spotted a car reversing from its parking spot. Oh, alhamdulillah. Seems like there's a huge rush here too. I wonder if we'll find new backpacks for the girls today. He asked out loud, looking to Mama. Mama smiled. Inshallah, we'll find everything we need. Come on, girls, let's see if they have any backpacks and lunch bags here. I hope we can get done before Ibrahim's bedtime. <coughs> Baby Ibrahim cooed in the back at the sound of his name. Zainab and Amelia both giggled at their adorable baby brother. <laughs> Zainab and Amelia got down from the car and walked towards the store with Baba. Mama unbuckled Ibrahim and joined them. When they entered the store, a blast of cold air greeted them at the entrance. Zainab looked around at all the signs hanging from the ceiling. Oh, the back to school aisle is here. She read out loud, pointing to the side of the store. Zainab led her family towards the sign. They eased their way through the countless number of people and their carts. There were kids everywhere, frantically searching for the right colored folder or the right sized binder. There was a feeling of tension and rush as Zainab and her family entered this space of the store. Zainab couldn't find any free space to squeeze through to even reach over to the supplies that she needed. She watched as two girls quickly picked up the last ruler and calculators on the shelf. Zainab caught eye of the girls and looked away. One of them paused and exclaimed, Oh, do I know you? You look familiar. Zainab was taken by surprise. I just moved here, actually. I don't know anyone. The girl smiled and cheerfully exclaimed, Oh, okay. Well, welcome to our city. 
Zainab waved to the girls as they hurried away to their parents who seemed like they were in a rush to leave. Mama tapped Zainab on the shoulder. They seemed friendly, huh? Maybe people are just nice and welcoming here. Zainab shrugged. Yeah, maybe. Amelia interrupted, pointing to the crafts section immediately and exclaiming, Oh, do I need paints, Mama? Mama, can we buy art supplies, please? Mama smiled as she saw Amelia's face brightened at the sight of her favorite things. Okay, let's get through this list first and then maybe we can get that at a later time. Oh look, there are plenty of backpacks over there! Amelia spotted her favorite color and ran to pull the magenta pink backpack off the hook. This one is perfect! she exclaimed. Mama nodded. Amelia dropped it into the shopping cart happily. Zainab examined a few colors before finding the perfect shade of blue. She pulled down a royal blue colored backpack and showed Mama. Mama added that to the cart too. The girls were quick to find their supplies in this aisle. Baba read the list out loud to ensure that they gathered all the necessary items for the start of a new school year. Pencils? Check. Paper? Check. Notebooks? Check. Highlighters? Check. Markers, color pencils, crayons? Check, check, and check. It looks like we got everything we need here, alhamdulillah. Baba noticed that Mama had disappeared into the other aisle. He pushed the cart steadily to find Mama and Ibrahim. Zainab and Amelia trailed behind. Mama was holding Ibrahim in her arms. He was happily entertained, holding some kind of jingly keychains in his hands. Oh, look, Zainab, we found this Calico Critters keychain. You can attach it to your backpack as a gift from me and Ibrahim. Oh, and Amelia, I got you the My Little Pony keychain as a gift, too. The girls gave Mama a tight hug, appreciating this unexpected gift. Zainab placed her keychain into the cart next to the pile of items that she gathered for school. She looked to the stack of notebooks and the stack of paper and the stack of pencils and wondered out loud. Mama, do you think our new school is going to be hard? What if I don't do good in this new school? Baba looked to Zainab, who was now frowning at the sight of her new school supplies. Baba patted her shoulder and said, Zainab, but what if you do good though? What if you do excellent? What if you do amazing? Because that's how you've done so far, alhamdulillah. You are the type of person who puts sincere effort. That's all that matters. Try your best and Allah will take care of the rest. But how will Allah take care of the rest? Baba heard her quiet concern and added, What if I told you there was a special dua you can recite before beginning each school day? I used to also read this dua before my classes or an exam when I was younger. Amelia tugged at Baba's arm and eagerly asked, Baba, can you tell it to us? I want to learn it too. Oh, is there a dua for not knowing how to make new friends? Because I'm kind of worried about that. Mama chuckled. Hmm, well, the translation of this dua is, Oh Allah, increase me in knowledge. So maybe knowledge can also be the knowledge and understanding of people too. The dua is, Rabbi zidni ilma. It's a nice short one. Rabbi zidni ilma. Baba recited with Mama. Rabbi zidni ilma. Rabbi zidni ilma. Oh Allah, increase me in knowledge. Just then, Baba reached over to the shelf behind Mama and picked up some colorful sticky notes. I'll be in charge of writing down the dua in a note. I'll put this inside your lunch bags so you can recite it during your morning snack time. 
Zainab loved that idea. She took a peek at the colorful, large sticky notes that Baba just added to the cart. Mama put Ibrahim into the cart and pushed the cart quickly to the checkout line. Amelia stood on the side of the cart, playing peekaboo with baby Ibrahim. Peekaboo! Peekaboo! Ibrahim! Ibrahim! Peekaboo! I'm going to miss Ibrahim all day when I'm in school, Amelia said as she kissed his little hands. Mama chuckled. I'll bring him during pickup time so you can see him first thing after school, inshallah. Zainab looked at the sticky notes in the cart and asked out loud. Baba, what was the dua again? Baba smiled and recited. Rabbi zidni ilma. Oh Allah, increase me in knowledge. Zainab whispered the dua to herself twice in hopes of memorizing it today. Oh, Baba, I think I memorized it already. Can I write the dua for Amelia's lunch bag? Baba handed the colorful sticky notes to Zainab and exclaimed, <laughs> They're all yours. Amelia sprang to her feet and interrupted. Oh, can I use the sticky notes too? I'll write and draw a picture for Ibrahim every morning. The cashier rang all the items and bagged the school supplies, packing them away neatly. Zainab and Amelia helped their mama and baba unload all the school supplies into the car. Mama buckled Ibrahim into the car and kissed all the kids on the forehead. Mwah, mwah, and for you. Mwah. Inshallah, this school year will be a good one. Don't worry. The girls smiled and nodded to Mama. Inshallah. Jazakallah for listening to today's story by Mrs. Hashmi. This story was sponsored by Brother Ali and Sister Sama for their kids, Zainab, Amelia, and baby Ibrahim. Until next time, assalamu alaikum.